welcome to the blessed life with tiffany so today we are going to do a haul um from tj maxx from um bed bath and beyond mostly i am going to tackle this hallway closet it is in dire need of organization along with two of my sinks one in the kitchen and one in my bedroom bathroom um under the the sink is just it, these are enormous projects because everything's under there and they're in baskets and containers and just very, very disorganized, um, old systems in place that aren't currently working. So we're going to rework some of those systems and change up um, the organization um, first in this closet. So we're gonna do our haul today and then I'm gonna do a follow-up video with, um, organization of this closet. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If you'd like to see what I picked up during this haul, please, please keep watching. So first of all, we're going to start with our items from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. And um, I will just show you, there's just a few items from there. So first off, we're going to start with this um, it's a liner paper, and I'm probably gonna use this under both of the sinks. I love that marble look um, because my kitchen is a gray and white. My bathroom is all white. Um, and so I'll probably use this under under both of them. And if I have enough left over and find the need for it, then I'll use it also in, my, um, in this closet. So that's... Um, the liner that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's by Cubierta. Um, it's the contact brand. Okay, so then I got these um, shelving, the shelving situation right here. Um, and so it is, um, you can use it for your kitchen cabinets, but because there's a lot of wasted space under both sinks in the kitchen as well as the bathroom, I got these for both because they sit like this. They sit like this and then you can put baskets up under them and you can take advantage of the height under your cabinet and put things on top of them. So I bought these to organize um, those cabinets. Um, the next thing I got from Bed Bath and Beyond is a mesh expandable um, under the sink shelf. So this was the next thing, if you guys can see that. And it comes with all of these little slide mesh containers. And um, I wouldn't just call them containers. Maybe, you know, something you can sit your, um, your products on like a stand for you to sit your products on. And so I I thought this was pretty cool. So we're gonna try this one. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one under the kitchen sink and then use those other ones I just showed you under my bathroom sink or vice versa. We'll see how that works out. You, There'll be a video. I'll show you exactly how it turns out. Um, okay, and so then, um, other thing that I got from Bed Bath and Beyond were the baskets, the mesh baskets that I'm going to be using to put um, to put product in. So these mesh baskets, they're see-through. You'll know what they are. Um, I'm still thinking of placing a label either on the inside or you know or out here and labeling them to make them super duper cute, but we'll see. So that's what that is, that's, that's the basket. Um, and the under sink cabinet was $27.99. The little, the one that had all of the little compartments to it was $27.99. Um, the little mesh bins I just showed you were $11.99. And then the um, liner was also $11.99, okay? All right, so that's it for Bed, Bath, and Beyond. 
I went to TJ Maxx because I wanted to find some bins. I have baskets, but I wanted, but they're different kinds of baskets and I wanted some kind of uniform looking baskets. So I purchased, I purchased these um, bins for the closet. This came in a set of three by this Beano um, storage. I really, really liked the look, the wood look of it. Um, and it's, you know, gray and white down here, but I really liked these. And I bought them in different sizes. So this is the smaller one. And then I got some that are much deeper, but they, um, the deeper ones only came in a two pack. So I had to get, um, you know, purchase several of those. So these are the ones like the last ones I just showed you. And then these are the deeper, deeper ones that we got. And they were $16.99 for the huge ones. And they were $12.99 for the three pack that, um, that I got. And I found, um, found those at TJ Maxx. Um, I also got this bamboo natural. This is for my kitchen, for my sink. I needed to replace the one I had from Grove. Um, and I needed one like right away. So, um, I'm waiting on my shipment from Grove Collaborative for some of my stuff, um, for my kitchen. So I needed this like now. So I bought one from TJ Maxx and it was $3.99. So that's that. Okay, now something else that I think is just um, wonderful, and it's not organization, but I found it while I was in there, and I thought it was so cool because I've been really, 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 really wanting one of these pots for fall, you guys, for fall. So I've got to be really, really careful. It's heavy. It's gi it's ginormous, but it is so pretty. I love it. So just give me a second. I'm gonna get this. It's double bag, it's wrapped all sorts of ways, okay? So, I'm excited. I feel like a kid. You know you're getting older when you're excited about a pot, for the love of God, okay? A pot by George. Okay, hold on. Let's put this. Okay, Tiffany, you didn't think this through. Okay. <gasps> Ta da! Look at my pot, you guys. So, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to make some wonderful soups in this pot. Do you guys not think this is the best pot, like, ever? Check her out. Check her out. I'm excited about this pot. I'm sorry. I'm, but I, I love to cook. And I'm excited about the pot. How much was the pot? The pot was $39.99, I think, people. I think it was $39.99. I'll list it below in the description box. But I want to say it was like $39.99 or... Uh, I was correct. $39.99. It's huge. It's so heavy. So you have to be gentle. You have to be gentle. So this is the pot. This is the lid. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I'm happy. And um, I really, really love, really, really love this pot. Okay, so lastly, I have some items that I got from Home Goods. And um, I have been um, wanting to change up the windows and do some window treatments in the house. I've been painting and doing all of this stuff during COVID. And I took everything down that I had up, including the curtain rods. I just hated everything. So everything had to go. And my walls are like completely bare. They're all this beautiful ultra white color um, from by Valspar from Lowe's is what it is. It's called ultra white. And it's a really, really bright, bright white. And I love it. So I painted the whole house that color. And then I have this gray and it's by Sherwin Will Williams, but I can't remember um, the paint color. So I'll, um, if I can find the can, I'll link that in the description box so you can see what color this gray paint is. 
but that's over my fireplace and so i have some window um some curtains that i bought for um my bedroom and then the windows the double pane uh the double glass windows that are at my back door as well as the one by my kitchen table and then the window in my bedroom so these are by Kenzie Home, and these are from Home Goods by Kenzie Home, and these are the curtains for my bedroom. I thought they were so, so pretty. So they're white with this silver, silver color, and my bedroom is white too, and then I have the wallpapered focal wall. So I think this is going to be very pretty in there. So we have that, and then these are the curtains for the front room. And these are going on the back door and the window by the um, kitchen table because I wanted it to be uniformed. Like, my house is small and um, it's not broken up enough to have different stuff happening. So I kind of want uniformity throughout this whole like front room, the living room area, the the dining area where we eat and the kitchen is just kind of that, that flow. We don't need 50 million things going on over here okay so these are the and these are blackout curtains um as you can see right here it has the double lining here so um because the sun even in the fall and winter months when the sun comes in shines in through the windows it can make it hot and there's a glare and so we can close them when we need to close them and open them when we need to open them without having um the brightness so that's that's these these are by salon so I guess Salon de Maison, Maison, Salon de Maison, I believe it is French. Y'all, I don't even know if that's a French accent, so no shade, I just, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just being extra. But anyway, so that's the panel, and hopefully you can see that design right there. I love it. I love them. They're thick, they're heavy. They're wonderful. So we're gonna replace the curtain rods. There it is. Come on, light. Come on, light. Yeah, we're gonna replace the curtain rods and the curtains. And so that's it for that. Now the curtains were also inexpensive. Thank you, Home Goods, because these were $24.99. They have two panels in each. Two panels in each. And they were $24.99. Love, love, love that price. I went to Kohl's, that's where I went. Went to Kohl's, actually saw this exact brand and curtain in Kohl's. This exact one, $119. What are they thinking? I'm not purchasing that, I can assure you. I'm not purchasing that in Jesus' name. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, I'ma tell you, I'll spend my money on my shoes and my, and my, and my purse or my pocketbook. We from the south. It's a pocket book. Pocket book. Pocket book. That's what we call it. Anyway, those were $24.99. And the ones that I said I was putting in my, my bedroom, these, these were $19.99. They come with two panels as well. So, um, and again, that was from Home Goods. So that's the haul, y'all. So once I um get everything up, get everything situated, I will um follow up with you guys. I'll follow up regarding what it looks like and what the updates look like. So we're going to tackle this closet too. And um, I'll be coming at you with part two of this video where we tackle the haul closet. I hope you enjoy my little mini haul here of what's happening and what we're going to put in this closet. So stay tuned. Check your YouTube. Like, subscribe comment below go over to instagram at beauty driven um instagram at beauty driven and my daughters have a page on instagram at sister girls g-u-r-l-s two the number two sister girls two on instagram please go over head over there and follow um follow them and check out literary fridays on their page thank you again for watching like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.